Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. And I know that this video is coming in late, but um, we're gonna be dropping a double header in the next, what, for the next span of, I'd say 20 minutes. It's gonna, we're gonna be doing the recap real quick of the Jaguars and Dolphins scene. Um, so let's get this thing quickly underway. Um, obviously, as you guys saw, Jason Sanders makes a 52-yard field goal as time expires, and the Dolphins rally past the Jaguars 20-17. The day started off with chaos. Miami went down 17-7 at halftime, and it ended with celebration. Sanders nailed a 52-yard field goal as time expired, and the Dolphins on probably one of the most bizarre days in their history, when we were two players replaced in handcuffs. Yeah, you heard that. Hill and Campbell put in handcuffs before kickoff. That was something. Um, fact of the matter is, a few hours, a few hours later, Miami rallied past Jacksonville, twenty to seventeen, on Sunday to where they're to win the fourth straight season open. You know, fresh off a big contract, um, Tua led the way in this game. Um, he, I'll admit it. Tua was iffy at the start, and then he really pulled through in the end. Um, you know, he led the way. 336 yards and a touchdown led on Miami on an eight-play, 31-yard drive over the final two minutes and nine seconds. Um, Tua calling out coaches and teammates with Miami down 17-7. And then look at what happened. Hill started the comeback with an 80-yard touchdown catch that sparked Miami's sluggish offense in the third quarter. After that score, Hill placed his hands behind his back as if to stimulate or simulate, you know, that he was being handcuffed. Um, Hill finished the day with seven catches, 130 yards. Devon H. I don't know what to say about you. Um, Sanders did tie the game with a 36-yard field goal with 422 left before the eventual game winner in the very, very end. So, with that being said, wonderful comeback win for the Dolphins. Wasn't pretty, but it was against a team that is pushing to make the playoffs this year. And now Miami will host Buffalo on Thursday nights today. That being said, I know this was a short recap, but I'm obviously behind and I need to get things done. So I will now go straight into the Buffalo video.